In die jaar 1978 tref een onwaarschijnlijkheid wat Zuid-Afrika diep zou tref. Daarom niet een meteoriet nie, maar amper net zo so erg. Een meisje van Kaapstad wordt als mevrouw Jill al aangewijs. Niet net de eerste in die landse geschiedenis niet, maar ook voor die hele continent. Sedertien betoover haar schoonheid die wereld onverpoest en op 62 is Margaret Gardner nog niet zo so mooi. Zij spocht die staan met Hollywood status, maar het onlangs het draai in Zuid-Afrika kon maak. Ik was gelukkig genoeg om exclusief met haar te kon gesels. Margaret Gardner, een naam geassocieerd met schoonheid, glans en stijl. De eerste en enigste mevrouw Jill al uit Zuid-Afrika voor amper 40 jaar. Meer dan vier dekades na haar kroning wordt Zuid-Afrikaanse schoonheidskoninginne steeds spontaan met haar vergelijk. En baie is het eens, daar is net een Margaret Gardner. Zij en haar man André woon die afgelopen 30 jaar reeds in Amerika, waar zij is vermakelijkheidsjournalist, schouwerskier met bijna elke Hollywood ster. Rooi tapijte en wereldbekendes is haar dagelijkse bestaan. Zij is in Kaapstad en ek het van Keijer. Jy is amper vir my mooier as 44 jaar gelede. Ik is so blij dat jy 44 jaar onmiddellijk ingebring het. Dat maakt mij baie goed voel, baie dankie. <laughs> But I'm serious, you know, I had posters against my wall van jou. Baie dankie. What do you ek say about that? Ik uh, 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 weet nie waar oor daar oor te sê. Baie dankie. Ek moet net voor ons begin vir die, uh, vir die kijkers sê, dat jullie moet mij vergewe. Ik het nou vir baie jare oor sê geblei, en ek is oud, ik is 62. So as ek nie die uh, woorde ken nie, zal jij mij alsjeblieft vergeven? Ik uh, probeer. Ik wonder al dat mensen zo so mooi zoals jij is. Is there also something that you don't like about yourself? Ik is de jongste van drie meisjes. Mijn twee zusters is ongelooflijk mooi. Ik was niet die mooie van die drie van ons. I didn't grow up thinking, oh my goodness. Look at me, baby. Nee. Uh, natuurlijk, ik heb kanker gekregen. Mijn neus is nu skeef. Ik voel me fantastisch daarover. Op 21 augustus 1959 wordt Margaret Gardner in Woodstock geboren. Eén beseft die woonbeerd in Kaapstad niet, en hulle gaan Zuid-Afrika ze heel eerste meer voor heel al oplever niet. Margaret is de jongste van drie sussies. Haar ma, thuis de skepper, en haar pa, een lithograaf. Zij is uitblinker op school en droom om een dag een schrijver te worden. Maar je was geloof ik bij een geweest als kind. Ja, ik heb twee zusters met groot personalities. Uh, slim. Uh, ja, dit was niet nodig dat ik praat niet. Maar dan als kind wat je was geloof ik rabbe doen. Ja, ik was. Mijn pa, omdat uh, daar drie uh, dochters was, geen ziens. Hij heeft ook uh, ons geleerd over sports. So, um, ik, 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 ik was zo eens een uh, beetje van een uh, zin. Je mom was ook een heel speciaal persoon. Je was heel sterk. Zo sterk. Mm. Ik moet voorzichtig weer zijn. Mm. She passed away in the 80s, but also uh, your mom and your pa had your die waardes geleerd. I used to call her twice a week. And we'd speak for an hour at a time. I tell her everything, good, bad, and indifferent, and she would hold me accountable. No, Margaret, you can't do that. Have you written your thank you note? Did you say thank you? Did you If you think back now, the years in Woodstock. Yeah. Wat waren denk je? Wat wat het jou uitgestaan? Ik was zo gelukkig dat ik in Woodstock opgegroeid het omdat op ons straat was die hele wereld daar. Mm. So it gave me an understanding of diversity, yes, yes. of other cultures. Mm. Also from an early age, jy het a baie mooi geskryf. She won a competition at the age, that's not nothing to do with beauty, at the age of 15, het jy gedig vir die Argus. Ja, man, uh, <laughs> look at, I, I don't remember all the words, but yeah, I always wanted to be a writer, yeah. of an onderwijzer. Yes. Um, of a journalist. As kind was you sick with your TV? No, I was 15. I had massive pleural effusion. Uh, that's when the lungs fill up with water. They tested it and I came back as positive for TB. And I had to 
leave school. That's the reason why you started to, to enter competitions. So uh, my sister belonged to a gym club and they were holding a beauty pageant and they asked my sisters to enter and my mum said, listen, she hasn't been able to do anything. This will cheer her up. Do you think she can also enter? When they called out the top three, I was busy in the corner reading a book and they kept calling number four and I was number four and I had a second How many covers had you had you all done? Roundabout, come on, say, yeah. When I went to Paris, uh, within the first two weeks of arriving, I shot my first cover at the age of 16. I can't even Only Heisenut covers, more than 30. Really? Yes. Heisenut was so kind to me. He let me go back. Report Heisenut. He let me go back. But you answered my question, how many covers you think? I don't know. Three, four, five hundred. I just don't know. As you in the street in Los Angeles and in America, then try the copper. This happened that I op the uh, op street stop and someone came me to come and say, "Is he market gardener?" But that that is not daglik, it's not in in yeah, no. But do you, do you think it helped you your beauty in your career, or do you think it's a little bit of a burden that people just see the, the beauty? Well, it's oh, so it's more. Okay, but then people assume that you have no brain. They'll talk to you about really significant things like the color of the sky, really? um, what kind of shoes you like. Is it still like um, that, Margaret? Did, did a sewer, did a sewer. By een van haar eerste skoonheidscompetities vang die beeldskone langbeen 15-jarige die bekende fotograaf Bernard Jordaan van Rapport sy oog. Haar eerste modelcontract is American Swiss en die rest raak geskiedenis. And then Bernard Jordan, he discovered you, the rapport photograph, ne? He I... changed my life yes, on yes. every single level. Yeah. First of all, I only entered the pageant that we've spoke of. And when I arrived home, Bernard was there. And apparently he had organized for me to meet uh, Johnny Casablanca Elite. of Elite Models who invited me to Paris to model. Margaret, but it must have been a... I mean, here you, 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 you grow up in, in Woodstock. Pa, ma, beskermd. The age of 16, going to France as a model. That must be moeilijk geweest. Uh, I had never been away from home. Never been on a plane. Never been out of the country. Couldn't speak the language. Yeah. I arrived in Paris. They met me at the airport. They took me to the agency and they said to a girl, Vat haar na hotel toe en kry haar a plek waar sy gaan voor. We all know modeling, acting, the, 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 the industry, I mean it's all over now, but then drugs, bulimi, dit dit moes moeilik gewees het. I'm sure that was baie versoekings. I would go out with the girls and, you know, I, they would be eating. And I would go to them, but how are you managing? And they would go, oh no, you throw up afterwards. And I went, why would you do that? And they said, no, but that's how we stay thin. And the drag scene? Yeah, honest, what else? But how did you, how did you at that age, a slight near you, Hanne? My mother for me who say, if you get there and it's not working, come right back to us. We love you, but if you stay, Anything that you do will reflect upon our family. As it's so moeilijk gegaan het in Margaret het huis toe verlang, dan kom daar een pakkie van jou ma. Ja, Wat chocolate, is dat? chocolate, chocolate, packet soups, uh, meebos, uh, 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 all, all the South African things. Na die advertentie breek, keir ek verder by Margaret Gardner. Toe vir die oomlik wat in die geskienis echo, my jyfru Zuid-Afrika word aangewees as 1978 sy my jyfru Jil al. Maar onbeskryflike gebeurtenis wat ons vir altyd sal onthou. Margaret Gardner of South Africa is Miss Universe of 1978. En toe gebeur Miss Universe. As jy terugdink dan, jy sê dit was jou moeilikste jaar ooit. Ja. Why? Huid of apartheid. Height of Women's Movement, 18 years old. 
So the head of the organization wanted as many people as possible to be in the show. So they said, ah, let South Africa in, give her a visa, nobody will notice. It was all the models of the day. They were in it. So I was just there for the three days for the ride, and then I won. And suddenly, I'd always wanted to represent my country. I was pulled aside repeatedly to answer political questions. I was booed in the streets. I was spat at. So many people have said that you that you come from South Africa that you are racist. You're yeah. right. That's what I thought. Yeah. And you decided to go and study here work in America. Yeah, well, I had also seen after the scams how moeilijk it is for people. Um, how people assume things about you. What did you study? I psychology. Four years na haar kroning bod haar liefde in die boeland toe haar pad met die van mediese student Andrei Nel kruis. Dit was by die mejuffrou Matiland kompetisie waar Margaret de beoordelaar was en Andrei een van die genooide gaste. En dan jou man, hy is op die vreselik aantrekkelijk nie. <laughs> Ek sê nie buiten nie, sê het een groot hart en een big brain. Yes. En vir my as a man a brain het, is dit sjoe. But he's a dish. He's a dish. Annette Pinar, wat ons by sy huis ons kiet, sê dit, sê dit gehoor gaan. Hy sê, but hoe het julle, hoe het julle ontmoet? Annette told me about these two guys she wanted to meet, introduce me to. Die een met die donker haare was Andre. En the rest is history. En het jy dadelijk geweet, that's the one? Nee. <laughs> nee. Definitief nie. Because yeah. I was a little annoyed that I'd been compromised. And um, the third date, he came to visit en hy op die deur geklop en ek het die deur oopgemaak en ek is lank en ek het net in sy boers gekyk en dan loer ek op en is die groen en dan jy realis ja, dat ek was maar hy is ook, hy is een medische dokter, hy het medisch geswaar hy is een professor of medicine, head of nano medicine at UCLA so you were married in St. George's Cathedral? Yes. Yeah. It was the most magnificent thing to see. They lined the streets and they turned up in hundreds, burst into the church. It was quite something. Uh, buy a donkey, I did it buy a. And you see him, you see him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's very great now, six foot six. Brandon. Brandon. En as hy, het hy jylle gene gekry, is hy so mooi soos jy en Andrei? Mense sê hy is handsome, maar ek weet nie, hy is a, he is a good person. What did he study, where did he study? He studied in Boston, he studied finance. Na drie dekades in Los Angeles, klink haar lewe soos iets uit die storyboek. Haar pen word toe haar toverstaf, waarmee sy vertelle beroemde publikaties skryf. Sy is ook een glansjournalist, wat al met bykans elke ikoon en vermakekheidster in Hollywood onderhoude vir tydskrifte en televisie gevoer het. En dan is jy heel tyd, elke dag, dit is jou bestaan, is jy moet van Hollywoodse grootste sterre. Your first really big interview, wie was dit gewees? Dit was Sharon Stone, dit was omdat ek kanker gehad het. Karen Hart het my, het daarvan geweet. Karen Hart van TV Plus. Ja, sal jy my a gins doen en al onderhoud met Sharon Stone gevoel. Ja, definitief. Oh, smart. Smart like a whip. Our own Charlize Thron. People don't understand how funny she is. She's got a dry sense of humor. There's a story when she, when you interviewed her and she looked up and what did she say? She realized it was you. It was my turn to ask a question and she looked at me and she said, hi, this yay. And we just looked at each other and I, I got all shy and bumbly and she eased the situation so that I knew she knew I was South African and but didn't bring any attention to it. So gentle. Let's talk about Jack Nicholson. The last time I interviewed him was for, I think, Something's Got to Give or About Schmidt. And he was in his 70s. And that man generated charisma, like it wafted across the room and it hit you. So that you went, 
Brad Pitt. I'm not into blondes, but when Brad Pitt walks in, you go, oh, I understand it. It's again, it's that charisma. Um, just smart. Sandra Bullock? Sandra Bullock, yes, also fun, dry sense of humor. She will come back at you so that you're rolling off your chair laughing. Baie mense bede dalk ook nie, maar jy is ook uh, involvement in the Hollywood Associated Press Association. En hulle besluit, of jylle besluit oor die Golden Globes. Ja, yep. we see over 400 films a year, television, and uh, we vote on the best in all of those categories. I'm also the fashion editor, so I do the red carpet. I ask who are you wearing, I go to each one, I get a little quote for uh, the website. But you also vote for the Golden Globes. Yeah, extend so. Margaret had echter not the scary kant of the life free gespring nie. Haar vastberadenheid en levenslust het haar echter deur gedra en sy sterker en wijzer ander kant uit. Jy is ook deur moeilike tye, daar was twee keer wat jy met kanker gediagnoseer was. I've had several bouts of cancer. Um, I had a tumor on my chest. I lost the use of my arm, skin graft, turned gangrenous. Um, was cut open every day, stuffed, uh, sewn up without any anesthetic. So I would watch the needle go in and out. And one of the reasons I also stepped out of the public eye. This also, uh, the, also on your nose. Yeah. yeah. That, that was that was a that was even that was my luck. Um, I had a little pimple. It started bleeding. Um, the, I had a facial. It, it happened and it never healed. And um, they told me it was cancer. It was only a seven millimeter hole, which is not insignificant in her limb. And it may fall so trick. And I must say, Margaret, have you had a facelift? Near? Does me yes. Does that for under? Al het sy onlangs 62 geword, lyk sy nie a dag ouwer as toe sy daai kroon gedra het nie. Sy beweer is haar heilsame leefstel en het selfs twee boeke oor gezondheid en skoonheid die licht laat sien. Jy sê jy is vreselijk lief vir chocolade. Wat oefen jy? Hoe bly my so? I travel over 100,000 miles a year. Ja. So it's important to be physically fit. Um, and I also handle stress through exercise. Are you enjoying your life? I smile on every day of my life. And this is what I say to people. Do it now. Enjoy this moment. Lean in. Don't say tomorrow. Don't look at yourself and go, oh, today I've got five wrinkles. Tomorrow you'll have 20. Well, for me it was a privilege. Thank you so much. Thank you for making the time. And I'm so honored that you actually wanted to chat to me so kind. In South Africa, ik is man van jullie. Dank je. Warm, charmant en prachtig. Een icoon in elke zin van die woord en een ware rolmodel. Margaret Gardner doet haar reputatie beslis gestand. Margaret, ons is trots om te zien ze Zuid-Afrikaner. En dank je, die keier was een voorrecht.